I will just brief about myself. I am Saumya from uh, RNS Institute of Technology, Bangalore. And uh, I live with my husband, my daughter who is three year old, my mother-in-law and my extended family, my parents, my grandfather, my brother and my sister's family. All of them live in Bangalore. And uh, regarding uh, the exploration, uh, I have a lot of takeaways from UHV3 uh, workshop. One of them that I would like to mention is uh, human education. And human education is one of the words in the first slide of our UHV1 introductory workshop. So that is what I understood today. So I have a long way to understand all the slides in UHV1, if we could say. So uh, I would like to explore. And uh, to understand this, I felt the most important step is the step one of exercise one. And this has been consistent from the second batch of morning session that I've attended. And the third thing important is to be happy always. When I have that in my mind that I have to be happy always, it will help me to be aware at every moment. So from UHV3, I could see that more moments of awareness has been there now, which is helping me in understanding. And uh, we talk about uh, coexistence and existence. We say there are units, conscious and material and space. The biggest example is our self, our body and space in and around. So if we can understand this, I think we will be able to understand coexistence and I will work on this. So that is my uh, takeaway from uh, the workshop. Uh, regarding comparing and tasting, uh, this is a change that I would say with relationship with my three-year-old daughter. Before UHV, I would come home, be frustrated and shout at her. After UHV 1, I would tell her, why are you shouting? Why are you screaming? That's when it caught attention that what I am doing to her, she is doing it to me. That is the relationship. After UHV 2, I started understanding I have to have that feeling of relationship. Only then she will be able to have a feeling of relationship. So there, my observation started from having relationship and the feeling of relationship at certain moments. After uh, second batch of UHV morning session, it was there for many times. So when I would see some people, I had some preconditioning and assumption. And because of that, I had some opposition. Now, in the last three days, I'm able to see that that peak conditioning and assumption has reduced. So this is the change shift that I have seen from before UHV1 till yesterday. So I will work on all this and I will try to have a feeling of relationship every moment and that will help me be aware every moment. So that is my commitment towards UHV. Regarding future plans, uh, like I said, uh, team development, it's a very important thing that I observed is volunteering. When we are volunteering, it is natural and that relates to natural acceptance and that is how we are able to develop ourselves. So I give all my time to UHV. When it is possible, it will be a part of the UHV family. And whenever I have some commitments with my family, I will be able to do that. So I should be able to manage both and it happens naturally. So this is something that has been there with me from a long time. I took almost four months to understand natural acceptance. So even now I am trying to understand natural acceptance. So that is my commitment with respect to participation and uh, whatever possible I will be able to do from my part, I will try to do it. So these are my commitments and my sharing and a gratitude to everything around me at every moment. Thank you. Namaste.